On the Sunday Grill, Push Pull Production is a new drama company in Waterford City and I'm joined by some members who are putting on a show later on this week. Hi, Dean Sullivan, how are you? Hey, Mary, how are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, Push Pull Productions. Um, Push Pull Productions, we're a local uh, theatre company. We started out about um, a year ago now. Uh, we actually all made in college, the three of us, down in the CTI, or the College of Further Education, as it is now. Um, and we decided just to put on a, a small production and we ended up from... This small production we done last year actually coming up our own theatre company now, so Excellent. we're moving on ahead now with uh, future productions uh, throughout the year. Great. So the one you're doing next week, what's that about? Um, it's a, it's actually a short. It's a uh, four short plays, a uh, one man plays. So it's one actor per play, and they're about I suppose about fifteen to twenty minutes long each, and uh, we're hoping to get about maybe an hour and a half worth of uh, uh, play time out of the whole thing. So you know, but. Um, and it's um, all original plays as well, so um, it's uh, and ten, 10 euro at the door, so that's a... <laughs> Good stuff. Now, who wrote the plays? Um, I wrote one, I wrote two, uh, Jamie Flynn, it's me and Jamie Flynn, uh, uh, we wrote uh, two plays each, and um, we have uh, we have four different actors doing it at the moment, so, uh, but it's, uh, it's me and Jamie so far are kind of... Uh, kind of man in the plays at the okay. moment yeah. without giving too much away can you give us an idea of what the plays are going to be about well we, we have um, we actually have we have a one comedy wrote by uh, Jamie's actually after doing uh, Jamie does a lot of comedy so uh, one of Jamie's is a comedy it's about um, it's about a girl about to get married and she gets nerves on her wedding day and she's uh, it's about the time leading up to her actual wedding day and how she reacts to the whole thing and we have another two kind of more darker plays by, by myself and uh, and another darker kind of play by Jamie as well. We have uh, they're more kind of based around, I suppose, kind of maybe thrillers, kind of horror, kind of st- type stuff. You know, so okay. it's not all comedy. Scary so. kind of stuff. Though. Scary kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, I like the sound of that. Will there be people jumping in their seats? Do you think is it that kind um, of scary? It's probably not that scary. No, you know, okay. no, no, no <laughs> not along the lines. Of, uh, it's a, it's a small theater, so I don't think we have like <laughs> shining or anything. Like oh that. no, not 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 in that intense. There's a few moments, alright. We have a few moments, alright. Okay. There's a bit of shouting, alright, but there's a. Uh, uh, not not along the lines of that. Okay. Tell me about setting up uh, your drama company, Dean. Was it well, a difficult thing to do yourself? Or? It was. It was kind of something we kind of learned as we went along. Okay. A couple of us had we had kind of previous experience with certain. We 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 used to uh, we done a bit of acting here and there, you know, and we done a bit of. We were in. I was in a company called Bag of Trees for a while um, with James Rocket and Kate McCarthy, and they kind of taught me. They they they, they ran drama lessons anyway, and uh, but we just kind of got together with the hope of actually putting on our own production because mm. uh, just to get our own plays out there. And so we kind of le- learned the process as we went along, and then Derry came along then, and she's she's our producer now. But Derry was well, Derry's a graphic designer and she's a f- photographer by trade. So us with our our kind of uh, directing thing and combined with her. Uh, talents kind of just all came together, you know. So, is your plan for the future to always use your own plays, or will you maybe use other playwrights from time to time? Um, oh, we'd love to use definitely. We'd love to use other playwrights. We actually have a competition out at the moment. There's portals up around the town. We're uh, in. We're hoping for in July. We're doing. Um, we're going to put on another night of short plays, um, and we're going to have two of those plays will be by original, uh, up and coming. Uh, script writers so you're inviting town. people to. So we're inviting people from the town to come on to come on to our website. Uh, uh, www.pushpool.tk pushpoolwaterford.tk .tk .tk and we also have a fa- we have a Facebook uh, web a fe- Facebook site and a, a Bebo site as well at the moment which we're animal and MySpace as well so we have so there's okay. loads of information out now there. you've got two members of the company in with you can you introduce them uh, in the we have um, one of our playwrights here is uh, Jamie Flynn uh-huh. and a uh, we have our producer, Derry O'Gorman, is here okay. with us as well. Jamie, do you want to just jump over to uh, the microphone there? Yeah. No you wrote the comedy then that uh, Dean was telling us about a few minutes ago about the girl getting married. Do you have a sister or somebody in your life who, who you saw with the pre-wedding jitters that inspired you to write this? Actually, it's, it's pretty funny talking about it because I don't have any girls in my family except for one cousin, same, same age as me. But the whole reason that I was able to write it like that, like it's, it's a comedy written from a woman's point of view. Mm. And normally you think, oh, a guy wouldn't be able to know what, what it's like when you're getting married and everything. But my girlfriend makes me watch Sex in the City the whole time. Oh, okay. You, you know everything about women then, Jamie, from Sex... Uh, <laughs> the scenario is dealt with in Sex in the City, I think, and d- there's definitely pre-wedding nerves there. There's actually about three different weddings over the series. Well, yeah, and I was kind of forced to watch them. Oh, so yeah. Uh, well, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. 
Uh, Pretty much. Enjoy. The fellas always pretend they're forced to watch Sex in the City and they usually like it. And Derry, can you come in and talk to me here yeah. for a second as well, please? Now, uh, Derry, you're from Cork. I am, yeah. Uh, when did you come up here to Waterford? I came down about 2004 and came down for college, basically. So. Okay. Um, just been meeting up with the lads in college and just like the lads said it's just a kind of all happened so quickly and okay so you're the producer um behind push pull production mm-hmm. so what's your kind of main line of duties um well basically a lot of the fundraising because for the moment we're independent we don't have any arts council funding yet so a lot of it is getting the funds together getting the advertising out the support from local mm-hmm. businesses and stuff who i have to say have been fantastic to us so that's a lot of the work involved and then there's the graphic design the promotion the set design I'm working on all that at the moment so okay. very busy and do you find a pressurise coming up to performance night um, there, there is obviously I mean we were all feeling the pressure now getting closer and stuff like that but you just got to work on and you know hope it all comes together on the night and in fairness we're all very organised so excellent Okay, cool. Now, what? Uh, it's the twenty seventh, which I think today is the twenty second. Yeah, so it's, it's on Thursday night, Friday, Friday and Saturday, Saturday. the twenty seventh of the twenty eighth. So 27th. it's okay. in the Granary Museum at okay. eight pm on the Friday and the Saturday nights. All right, so that's in Waterford City, the Granary, Friday and Saturday night at eight o'clock, mm-hmm. and it's ten euros on the door. Ten euros on the door. Brilliant, guys. Thanks a million for coming. Thanks a million. Thank you. Thank you.